Hey there friends, Nibs again. Wanted to get out in the garage and uh, do a little playing around today. The, the weather outside is not uh, cooperating for getting outside and doing anything uh, as far as shooting goes. Uh, it's not as cold as it has been, but the it's snowing and the wind is blowing really hard. So it's got the uh, wind chill out there down around zero or below zero right now. So um, what I thought I would do here, um, is I've got two very nice, fairly high-end uh, target air rifles at my disposal at the moment, and I thought I would uh, do a little head-to-head -head challenge with these two. Um, so this first one I'm showing you here is uh, it's a Benjamin Benjamin Marauder, and this is what they call a PCP air rifle, uh, pre-charged pneumatic. So you uh, would either use, up here in the front, you have a cap you screw off and there's a little valve in there, a little coupling, it actually looks like a uh, like an air compressor coupling, very similar to that, but it's not the same. <clears throat> and you'd either use a hand pump or an electric pump, or what we have here is a scuba tank to uh, charge this up to up to 3000 PSI. And uh, you get quite a few shots out of that charge before you need to uh, recharge it. And it does have a little valve here at the bottom that tells you what your charge level is. Um, the scuba tank that I have right now for this is getting a little low and will need to be recharged pretty soon. Um, but uh, this one's on loan to the channel from one of my coworkers. I appreciate that, Paul, friend, coworker, fellow walnut and steel enthusiast. Um, and we're going to be putting that one up against. Let me get my here been doing a couple other a uh, couple other videos got some holes in that target down there already so we'll uh, ignore those but uh, we'll be putting that up against my new uh, Walther um, LGR rifle and uh, this one's quite a shooter too I think it's a pretty fair uh, pretty fair uh, challenge between the two. Uh, the sighting systems on each are, are only uh, you know zero magnification. The, uh, the Benjamin does have a red dot on it. It's actually a red crosshair. Um, I think that gives it a little bit of advantage. It's easier for me to see anyway and sight in down there. So, um, But we'll go ahead and give it a go and uh, <clears throat> we'll see what the results are. I do have a camera running down uh, on the target and uh, so I am using just to keep it even I am using these uh, RWS Di Diabolos they are a uh, seven green pellet uh, not, not sure if they're the most favorite of either one of these guns but just to keep it keep it uh, fair I'm just going to use the one one type so it is a little bit fidgety to get the pellets into this thing with the red dot on there but uh, it's not too bad All right. oh. I flinched that one down that was totally me all right do a little bit of practice shooting with both of these beforehand and both of these are really set up to shoot at 10 meters which is 33 feet I've only got 20 feet across the garage here so I expected that the elevation would be a little bit off on each of these so I'm not going to adjust either one because they're zeroed for their intended range so I kind of Expected they might be a little bit low or high or whatever. All 
I do like this gun. It's very nice. Same hole as the last one. I am going to be returning this to its owner very shortly, so I wanted to get out and do a little more, get a little more use out of it before I did give it back to him. Oh, that one went in backwards. He is going to be bringing something else that he has in that's very, very cool and uh, does need a little bit of maintenance. And hopefully, I'll be able to take care of that for him and uh, also be able to get a little bit of shooting on it. But I'm not going. To let the cat out of the bag quite yet as to what it is, but uh, it is definitely something very different as far as our rifles go. Let's just put it that way. It also is a PCP gun. But it is not a, uh, it's not a your typical caliber. Let's keep it there. But all right, I'm gonna go ahead and set this one down. So that was five shots, and other than the one that was definitely, I'll, I'll take full blame for that one. Uh, that was just a flinch on my part. Um, that uh, that group looks fantastic from that Benjamin. So, all right. So the uh, now the uh, Walther LGR. You uh, this one is a single stroke pneumatic. So that one you precharge with a scuba tank, and you get. 40 shots, you just gotta cock it every time with the bolt action. This one here, it's a little more uh, labor intensive. So every shot you gotta open it, this cocking lever fully, and then close it down. And you uh, just load your pellet. So the Benjamin does have a, what appears to be a quite a bit longer barrel. Not sure if that'll give this that some sort of advantage as far as uh, accuracy goes, but I'm sure both uh, both types have their advantage. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not an air gun expert, so I'm not sure what might be the differences and pluses and minuses for each one. That one was up, up in the middle of the target accidentally. But uh, one thing I do notice with, uh, with the LGR is it seems to have a, a a much nicer trigger. The Benjamin has a really nice trigger, but this one is like ounces where that one is like, you know, one pound or something a little bit heavier, but I mean, still very nice trigger on both of them. But it does make it tough when you're switching from one to the other to get used to the, uh, to get used to that, that difference in trigger. So yeah, this one is so much lighter that the first shot just kind of caught me off guard when I was squeezing. I was still squeezing like I was squeezing the other one. But uh, looks like my group might not be quite as perfect quite as one hole-ish uh, from the LGR here, but uh, we're still all in the black. <laughs> I think that was four, this one will be five, right? Close enough. All right, so. I do like it, the target stock on the Walther a little bit more. It's a little bit more of what I'm used to. Um, so I've got this, I've got my Ismash uh, CM2 and the, the stock on this one is so much like that Ismash that um, I'm just used to holding that. Just, it's exactly the way I hold the Ismash. Just 
balances right just here in front of the, uh, the trigger guard so it doesn't take any work and then you can just get right on it. So um, I don't have nearly as much uh, face time with the, the Benjamin and its stock configuration. So I bet if I spent some time with it, I could do really good with that one as well. But uh, I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at. And that one that's low was definitely me. So, but anyway, I uh, did want to do this head to head with these guys. Uh, like I said, uh, I mean, I'm going to be returning this to its owner uh, shortly. So uh, probably uh, maybe even this week. Um, and he's going to be bringing me in that other rifle that I can, uh, air rifle that I can hopefully get up and working and then we'll do some, uh, some shots with that one too. Um, but, uh, really appreciate everybody being on the channel. Uh, channel's growing great and it, it's all because of you guys. I really appreciate that. And, uh, if you like the video, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.